Hi guys. For this next video, I thought I'd show you a little something I came up with for my Konami cab here. Now, if you only have one cabinet and one arcade board, you never have to worry about swapping anything out. However, if you're like me, and you want to use one cabinet for multiple game boards, well, you're going to come into a slight problem. Now, if you've seen my other videos, you'll know that I decided to use this cabinet to play all of my Namco games, uh, Tekken, Soul Blade, Soul Calibur, etc. Now, if a game is already loaded in here, and it's not the particular game that I want to play, and I want to switch it out, before I can do any of this, I'm going to have to change the game board. In order to do that, I have to basically follow these steps. First thing I'm going to have to do is turn off my cabinet. Next, I would have to open up my cabinet, get access to the board and the wiring. Next, I would remove any of my harnesses, 56-pin harness, my 48-pin harness. Then finally, after taking out the old board, screwing in the new board, reattaching the harnesses, reattaching the cabinet door, I would finally be able to play the game that I wanted to play. Well, this was getting kind of hectic because I would constantly change from one game to the other. So, let me show you what I came up with. Let me just turn this off because I'm going to be removing the harnesses. But if you take a look down here, I actually came up with a little multi-board holder. It's nothing fancy, but I'll take it off. I'll bring it into some better lighting so you can actually see what it is I did. Okay, now this is your standard uh, PCB holder um, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, basically, as you know, this is inside your cabinet and for those of you who don't know, you would take your game, stick it on here, and you screw it in at the corners with some bolts, or screws actually, now, if you wanted to change games, of course, you would unscrew one board, get your next board, and attach it. Now, because I had multiple boards, and we had kids coming over, um, you know, adults, parties, whatever, everybody wants to play every single game, and since I really didn't like people touching my stuff in terms of changing the boards, I was constantly getting asked to switch out one board and put in another, etc., 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 well, it kind of got a little tiresome, but I knew I needed to come up with something quicker and faster. So, what I did is I designed something, nothing fancy, but allows me to switch from one game to another um, in just a fraction of the time. And what I did is this. Now, basically, if this is in my cabinet, this is my Tekken 3 board. This is my Soul Blade board. So if I'm playing Tekken 3 and I want to instead play Soul Blade, what I do is all I have to do is just take my 56 pin harness from here, attach it to here. Take my Namco harness from here, attach it to here. And that's it. I'm ready to go. Before, what I have to do is before I made this, I would have to unscrew this board, find this board, take it over here, screw it in, reattach everything and although it's not difficult it was a little time consuming you know had to search for the drill make sure I don't lose the screws whatever so I came up with this little gizmo right here right now it's for two boards I'm gonna eventually probably make it for four boards so in addition to my Tekken 3 and my Soul Blade boards I'll have a Soul Calibur uh, one or two board and a Tekken Tag tournament um, board. So there you are. It will be four boards inside one cabinet that you quickly switch from one to the other. And as you can see, it's nothing special. It was put together with wood, screws, some uh, angle uh, brackets, and that's about it. As you can see, this white thing right here, it's actually a cutting board that I got for five bucks at the store. And it works perfect. It's actually lighter than wood. So 
here's just an idea of what it is I did. As you can see, using angle brackets, I attached this piece of wood to here and to right there. There. Two more brackets there. And one right there. And then, since this was held in place, I attached this cutting board using one, two, three brackets. And there you can see it. And it works nicely. So, just wanted to show you guys this. Maybe uh can help you guys out who have had the same problems switching the boards in and out. But it works for me. And like I said, I plan to put uh, a total of four boards, so this will actually be extended, and it will quickly allow me to switch games from one to the other. Costs hardly anything, it's nothing fancy. I was able to put this together in uh, less than 30 minutes. So there it is. Just thought I'd show you guys what, it, what I've done. So if you have something similar or something better, let me know. I'd like to see it. Once again, thanks for watching.